I would like to personalize my Windows 11 experience, and I can do that in a couple of different ways. One way is I can just right click anywhere on the screen and choose personalize. I can also get there simply by right clicking on the start button and going into settings and then choosing the personalization option. So I'll choose that on the left hand side where it says personalization as you see here and now I can change a lot of things. For instance the background image by default is kind of busy. I want to make this more of a solid color just so we're not focusing on the background all the time. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to activate my computer. In order to make a lot of different changes, you'll need to activate your computer. So I'll choose to activate and then change the product key and then paste in the key that I received when I purchased my Windows 11 license. And after pasting it in, I'll click activate. And now it's going to reach out to the internet to activate my license. And then I can do things like personalization and make other changes. Windows is now activated. And you can see the activation state says active. So now I can go back to personalization and I can change my background. Now I'm going to change this from a picture to just a solid color. As I said, just so it's not distracting and I'll just choose a light gray. Simply by clicking on that, it went ahead and changed my background to a light gray. I'm going to go back into settings and personalization. And I can change other things, such as the colors. Look at all the different accent colors I can add. Accent colors allows us to add additional color to certain things, such as File Explorer. So we can see File Explorer in multiple different colors. It also allows us to add transparency effects, which gives us the transparent look when we're going to open up various different applications, so we can kind of see through them a little bit. I'm going to change my accent color from manual to automatic. So that way it can pick the accent colors it thinks that are going to work best for my computer. I can also choose to create custom colors by clicking on the view colors option. You'd simply move the circle around until you get the color that you'd like. And in order to show off these new accent colors, I'd like to show the accent color in title bars and windows borders. So I'm going to show you what it looks like before I select it. And now I'm going to select it and choose once again. And now you can see a faint blue border around my box that you see in File Explorer. However, it's a little more dramatic if you open up things like a calculator. So I'll click on calculator for instance. And here you can see in the lower right hand side, the equal sign has got that blue color. Now I'm going to change it to this reddish color and you can see that it's now changed it to that color as well. And depending on the application, you're going to see this either more dramatic or less dramatic and some applications you may not even notice it at all. You can also add in contrast themes. This is going to be for people with vision issues. So for instance, I can choose my aquatic contrast theme and I'll apply. And now you can see how it looks with this new view that makes it easier for some people to be able to navigate with these other colors. I'm going to go back to none and apply once again. We can also add in themes as well. I'm going to go back to personalization. And here you can add in a lock screen image. So if you have a favorite image that you would like to have when you lock your screen, you can see that here. And there's many other different types of personalization options that I recommend you check out in order to get the look and feel that you need for your Windows 11 computer.